Hans Mann. Oh, fuck. Books. Which image shows the author who created Captain Arthur Hastings and Jane Marple? A, looks like she wrote books about lying down on the train tracks. B, looks like she wrote mysteries. I'm going to say it's B. Which image shows a book released before 1900? It must have been The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn because Little House on the Prairie is about the 1800s. And it's like reverent or nostalgic. Which image shows the species of the title character in Rudyard Kipling's Ricky Ticky Tabby? I'm going to say as a tiger. He's, he wrote a book about like a damn ferret. Which image shows a map from the stories of J.R.R. Tolkien? Okay, that is A. Nope, it's a mongoose. Which image shows a flower with the same name as the character from The Great Gatsby who's related to Tom? Orchid, Daisy, Rose. Daisy. Correct! Which image shows an animal who was not a mad tea party guest? There was, Rabbit was definitely a guest. There's no... Walrus at a tea party? Oh, shit. Walrus at the baseball game. Oh, there's no way there was a walrus. They couldn't find a chair big enough for him. Which image shows a book missing children from its title? So it's not A or D. Midnight's Children. Wait, isn't it called like Gravity's Hammer or something like I'm going to say it's C. C, let's go. Which image shows an illustration from Rumpelstiltskin? That's A. She has pricked her finger on a spinning wheel. Hamlet is set in Denmark. That would be B. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark, apparently. Which image shows a Stephen King novel that's a sequel to The Shining? That would be D, Dr. Slip. The children's book that was made by Maurice Sendak, that's where the wild things are, it's B. A novel written by Jane Austen. Jane Austen wrote The Portrait of a Lady, that's D. That was just a guess, honestly. It was wrong. Which image shows Zora Neale Hurston, author of Their Eyes Were Watching God? I'm going to say C. Not even close. Which image shows... A character from a film based on an Anthony Burgess novel. E. He's insane. Clockwork Orange. Which image shows a novel written by an author from Columbia? Well, is I don't think it's Jules Verne. Pretty sure it's not Dostoevsky. Vanity Fair sounds British as hell. I'm going to say it's 100 Years of Solitude, D. That's correct. That's by Gabriel Garcia Marquez from Colombia. He's insane. 80% versus 73. I'm slightly above average, right where I belong. Increasing options, Europe. Which image here is Rome? Trick question, it's A. Correct, that's Rome. The Spanish coat of arms, that's A. Which image shows a map with the city in a wrong position? With uh, Glasgow is not there. Glasgow's for wait, 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 wait. What the what the fuck? That's where London is. I feel like England's wrong. Ah shit. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I could be right, but at least I'm not. It's, the picture was right. The country could still be wrong. Which image shows the river in red? Well, I, I think that's the Seine in B. And A is like the Danube, so it's probably C. I don't know rivers. That was, that was good reasoning. Matterhorn looks cool as hell. I'm going to have to say that that's C. That's the coolest looking of the mountains there. The, current, the correct location of Rocklaw okay, is not in Bulgaria and is not in Lithuania. So that would be Poland, A. First country alphabetically. Okay. I think we have Andorra, maybe. That would be big. We have Estonia. We have Hungary because the middle is empty. They want a burger with the lettuce on the bottom. And we've got, wait, is that Albania? Or is that North? No, Albania is the eagle. That's North Macedonia. I think it's B. 
Andorra, son of a bitch. That's Moldova, isn't it? Piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking flags. Never keep the flags in my damn head. A landmark not in the UK. I'm going to say B. St. Petersburg. Which image shows the person for whom the current city of St. Petersburg was named? St. Petersburg used to be called Leningrad. Correct. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Which image shows... A uh, picture from Iceland. That would be C. European country that has had its color scheme modified. Oh, so it's the one that's not right. Okay. Well, um, I feel like A is bad Spain. Yay! Or bad Portugal. That's right. That's right. Which image shows the map sh section located furthest south okay poland switzerland italy uh, uh, turku i think is finland drogida i feel like it's d i feel like d is southern italy and that's the furthest south let's go he's insane which image shows the sagrada familia this is from um, this is from the um, Assassin's Creed series. It's A. Wrong. That's wrong. Which image shows Switzerland? It's hard without the other countries around it. <laughs> I see. C is Iceland. E is Norway. I think it's B. Let's go. Which is the flag of a country that was not formerly part of Yugoslavia? I feel like Slovakia is too far north to have formerly been a part. Wrong? Sorry, that's Slovenia. Get new flags and new names, okay? The flags look almost the same. The names are so similar. Like, cut me some damn slack, man. I'm sorry, Slovenia, you have to change your name. Slovakia, I don't know if they were there first, but they're bigger. They have um, Yaroslav Halak is from there. Marian Hosa is from there. Slovenia, you got to change. They got more people, I'm sure. Oh, increasing options, Africa. Okay, if you thought my Europe guesses were bad, get ready. Which of these fuckers is Mount Kilimanjaro? A, good start. Okay. Which country is further west? Ghana. Oh my God, I just, my head went east. What's wrong with you? What image shows a section of the map that would contain Dar es Salaam? It should be B. He's back, he's back, he's back. An African island nation. Let me get C. Okay, tough luck. The African desert located farthest north. The Kalahari Desert. No, it's the, it's the Nubian Desert. Okay, he's got it. He's got it. Because it, furthest north would be hottest. Because it's in the southern hemisphere. Which image shows the region now known as Zimbabwe? That's... But Zimbabwe is the homie, though. I had to do it. I'm sorry. It's got to be Rhodesia, right? Because was it Rhodes became Zimbabwe? Which of these is not one of South Africa's three capitals? Bloemfontein. Wrong? I should know that. Which image shows the official language of Angola? French. Wrong. You're wrong. Which image shows a landmark not located in Africa? That would be C. That's in Jordan. Uganda's national animal, which appears on their flag. 
Call me crazy. I don't think it's a lion. I think it's a cassowary. I feel like there's a flag with a cassowary on it. Which image shows a banknote from Ethiopia? Dude, I'm sorry. This, it's not funny, but C is actually hilarious. It looks like one of those fake bills you could buy off eBay with, like, Donald Trump's face on it. This is actually an incredible note of currency. A bank note from Ethiopia. I think that it's E, based on the text. Which image shows an aerial photo that does not contain part of Africa's coastline? Well, it's not C, D, or E. I feel like A looks more South American to me with all the estuaries. Which image shows a country that borders the Central African Republic? Zambia. Wrong. It's a wrong guess. Which one of these is Nigeria? It's B or it's E? I'm going to say B. That's wrong. It's E. Which of these is a country whose capital city starts with the same letter as the country? It's not Burkina Faso, and that's all I know. A. <laughs> got destroyed, man. Oh, my God. But hold on. We can come back, okay? Increasing options, the 1990s. The 1990s. I can do that. I was alive then. A country that hosted the Summer Olympics in the 1990s. What is Spain? The director of Terminator 2. That's James Cameron. B. Which of these characters debuted in the 90s? Probably Spawn. What? Which image is a cartoon that did not air in the 1990s? C looks 80s as hell. 1990s gaming console released by Sega. That would be the Dreamcast. Which of these 90s Disney films was released first? Easiest question of all time is Beauty and the Beast. Who released Daughter and Evenflow? That would be Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam is B. Pearl Jam is B. Yes. What movie won Best Picture at the Oscars in the 1990s? Unforgiven. That's A. Who is Dr. Dre? Come on, that's C. That's actually like an insulting question. Which of these shows featured Dylan McKay and Brenda Walsh? Am I crazy? My head immediately went Twin Peaks, but that's not true. Dylan is from the show with Luke Perry, 90210. Okay, D, let's go. Which of these is Doom? That would be D again. Who starred in Total Recall and Casino? That would be Sharon Stone on B. Use Your Illusion 2 by Guns N' Roses is E. This is Seal on B, a celebrity known by a single name. Minor TV character on Seinfeld, that would be C, Jackie Childs. He's insane. He's insane. B? Come, that's not Jerry's apartment. That's from Friends. You can tell from the lighting. This is also from Friends, actually. Maybe they're not both from Friends, but... Jerry! Increasing options. Language. Which book has a cover printed in a romance language? B. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Which image contains at least one word spelled incorrectly? B. Outragus. Which image contains the animal known as caballo in Spanish? A. 
Okay, I don't know Spanish. That's B. Which image shows a group of letters that cannot be arranged into a six-letter word in Scrabble? It's A. B is finger. C is church. Easiest answer of my life. Which image shows Japanese kanji? That would be A. C is hangul. Which image shows the continent on which the languages of Aymara and Guarini arose? Guara Guarani? Isn't he the guy who, who lost to Kelly Clarkson in um, American Idol? I'll go see. Which image shows the only country in which Amharic is an official language? That's Ethiopia, which is B. Which image shows a word that is not an anagram of the words represented by the other three images? Ha? Huh? Okay, we have taco, coat, orca. <laughs> so taco and coat is not an anagram? What's the other one? Beach? Tacos, coats, coast, orcas is A. I took a little assistance from the chat on that one. Which of these fuckers is Phi? A. Wrong. <laughs> Must be D. Which one of these says, I think, therefore I am? Cogito ergo sum. That's E. Sick transit gloria. Which image shows a homophone of a word meaning... This is the damn SATs! Which image shows a homophone, a word that sounds the same, of a word meaning a story appearing in regular installments? That would be C, serial. Which image shows the country with the largest number of speakers of Arabic? We have like Cambodia, Egypt. I think it's Iran as B. I'll take B. Wrong? That's wrong. Which image shows Finnish? That's got to be D. That's correct. Jaune is yellow in French, or vice versa. Which one of these is the Hebrew alphabet? That would be C. Let's not do it. It would be the average on that one. Had to pretty much clear the the end of the quiz to get it. Iran doesn't speak Arabic. They speak Farsi. You know what? The more you know. That's the end of increasing options? No, never mind. It's just the damn start. Increasing options. Greek mythology. Okay, time to get my ass kicked. Theseus. That's definitely B. The animals associated with the monster Geryon in the Twelve Labors of Her Heracles. So Heracles had to carry a huge cow on his shoulders or something. I'm taking B. One of the mothers of Pegasus. Look, I'm kind of a genetics expert. Even I can't do a Punnett square that goes from half woman, half griffin to flying horse. It's got to be Medusa, right? Because it's the only thing that makes any sense. <laughs> Which makes no sense. But Which image shows a city sharing his name with the character who eloped with Helen of Troy? That's Paris. That's A. Which image shows an animal that is not part of a chimera? A goat. What? I thought, I thought a, a chimera is not half lion, half bat? It has wings, doesn't it? How can it be half lion, half, uh, half goat? A, a goat is already half lion. Sorry, sorry. Which image shows the single body part that was shared among the three gray AE? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? The single body part. So it had three people with one head. Three people with one eye or three people with one hand? It's got to be one eye? One eye? What weapon mortally wounded Achilles? He was shot with an arrow in his knee. That's D. The Roman equivalent of Zeus. Not good with this God stuff. It's not Mars. So there's Neptune, but he's like a sea god. 
Is Jupiter or Saturn? It's got to be Saturn, man. It's Jupiter, isn't it? Which image shows the animal that represents the non-human half of the mythical creature Echidna? That's not a mythical creature. That's a real thing. Echidna. Echidna is half human, half snake. Re Correct! Okay, Sharon is B. Because he, he's the guy from Hades that paddles the boat. That's a gimme. Which image shows the musical instrument most commonly associated with Apollo? I'm going to say that he played a cool horn on E. Not correct. What image shows the species of mythical creature of which Polyphemus was a member? Thank you, Isaac. That must be E. Which image shows the logo of a company whose name is derived from the Greek goddess of victory? Mm, I think that would be PayPal, the Greek goddess of victory. Just kidding. It's Nike. It's E. Which image shows one of the domains of Artemis? She's the Artemis is the goddess of the hunt and the feast. Nope. Okay, not A. Which image shows the fruit used by Hades to trick Persephone into coming back to the underworld? That's a damn apple. Nope. Sorry, that's a pomegranate. Didn't even beat the average on this one either. That hurts. Increasing options board games, though. I can do this. Oh, oh there we go. Which game uses dice? Trivial Pursuit. Which of these is worth 10 points? X. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Which of these has a risk territory named after it? it? Must be Argentina. Germany's probably broken down provincially. Which of these was released prior to 1960? Candyland is so ass. It must be Candyland. It is. Okay. Which of these is not based on a board game? We got Rihanna in Battleship. And then we have uh, Clue, of course, with Miss Scarlet. And then we've got Outbreak. But Outbreak is not based on Pandemic Legacy. So I'm going Outbreak C. Wheat, corn, apples. Which of these is a type of resource in Catan? That's wheat. Who does not represent a Cluedo suspect? That would be C. Otherwise, we have... Plum, Peacock, and Colonel Dijon. A game that shares his name with a Shakespeare play, that would be D. Othello. Balderdash. Balderdash is when you try to teach people where you try to make up fake definitions for words, which should be. Oh, I just know it's Magic the Gathering. What is this game? Nope. Feed your opponent. It's D, by the way. But feed your opponent a nope sandwich with extra nope sauce. What game is that? That's Exploding Kittens. Can I get a quick bat chest, by the way? Sorry. I'll take D for Balderdash. Which of these is a colored circle that's not present on a twister mat? It's got to be orange. Beholder. Beholder is E. I know that. A chess piece that shares its name with a bird most closely related to ravens. I don't know. I, I don't know the answer. Monopoly property with the highest purchase price. That would be green, North Carolina. A piece in the game of life. That would be D, the car. A section of the cranium board. That would be B. Great game. Whatever happened to cranium, man? I honestly, I, I, I can't. I give up. I just don't know. I'd be making a guess. Correct? That's a rook. A rook. A rook. A rook. A chess piece that shares his name with a bird closely related to ravens. A rook is a bird? I've never heard of a rook before in my life outside of chess context. And also the game Grifflands. The more you know. You could have used process of elimination. No, I couldn't have. Because the same logic that lets me say it's not a pawn, bishop, king, or knight also applies to Rook, because I'd never heard of the bird before. It's basically, what you're saying is if you knew the answer, you could have figured it out. Which is true, but 
not that helpful. Rook is the most plausible. Correct, because it was the correct answer. But if you never heard of it, how are you supposed to get there? Does it make any sense? You know what a rook, you don't know what a rook is? You know what the other ones are? I don't know, you can make some. I've, I've never heard of a pond bird, but I've never heard of a rook bird either. Maybe it is a pond bird. Maybe it's a kingfisher, like a king. Maybe there's a bird called a, a night bird. I got, how am I supposed to know? Oh, you guys know it from Heroes of Might and Magic. I'm not a nerd. While you were playing Heroes of Might and Magic, I was studying Bruce Pandolfini's Annals of Chess, okay? Hold on, quick one. Okay. Which, Im this is what? Increasing options rock. I actually thought these were going to be minerals. Who's a member of Black Sabbath? Um, B is the guy from Motorhead, Lemmy. So it must be A. Panama is the Van Halen song. That's A. Which image shows the only number one? Oh, it's Move Yourself. It's the only number one song by Yes. You always live your life never thinking of the future. Train yourself. Is B. It's Owner of a Lonely Heart. Which image shows a band who released their debut album before 2000? It's got to be System of a Down. Which image shows the album with the earliest release date amongst these three? Iron Maiden, The Number of the Beast, ACDC, Highway to Hell, Queen, Night of the Opera. I say ACDC on that one. I'm incorrect. That hurts. Green Day member who plays drums. That would be B, The Joker. The band Garbage is B. Musician not named Eddie. That would be B. That's The Edge. <laughs> the video for November Rain is A. In Excess is from Australia. This one's for you, Macros. That's E. Here I Go Again was by Whitesnake. That's B. Murmur is R-E-M. That would be E. Track list of a Tool album. It's got to be C, right? C11, H17, N202, SNA. It's not C? A logo used by Rush. That would be C. Can you get it off of my screen now? Thank you. <laughs> Close-up section of a Led Zeppelin album. Okay, I see Pink Floyd. Oh, it's D. That's Houses of the Holy. 87 versus 62. How's that for average? Increasing options, NFL. This, I'm going to get like five on this one at best. But I, I like the categories at least. Sports. Sports. Which of these was a player who rushed for 2,000 yards in a single season? That's Terrell Davis of the 1990s Broncos. Let's go. That's A. Conference that won the first seven Super Bowls. AFC. That's A. Home to the San Diego Chargers. I'm going to be honest. B looks more like the West Coast to me. I say B. Let's go. Who only coached for the AFC? Um, B. Ah, shit. A city that was not once home to the Cardinals. Chicago. St. Louis? Is that St. Louis down there? St. Louis has moved around a bunch. I bet B is, is a city that was. I don't even know the other one. Is that like El Paso? I'm going to say Chicago was never. Nope, wrong. Which image shows the logo for a Super Bowl that was won by the Bears? Let me get um, let me get 1986 C. Let's go. Saved. Which image shows the signal for illegal contact? <laughs> D D. Okay, it's D. Who was not a linebacker? Brian Urlacher was a linebacker. 
Junior Seau was a linebacker. I'm going to say B. You're not a linebacker. I don't know who you are, though. Is that Tony Gonzalez, the tight end? That was what my brain was thinking. Okay, Hartford Whalers were not in the NFL. That's C. Great logo, by the way. All-time great logo. Of this group, who threw the most interceptions? I honestly think you just got to go based on who had the longest career. And that's a tough one, okay? Because Brett Favre and Peyton Manning both played forever. Peyton Manning was a little bit more of a high-octane offensive thrower. Terry Bradshaw played for a while. Joe Namath played for a while. I don't know, man. This is tough. I'm going to say Favre had the most interceptions. A. A! Alan Page, Warren Moon, and Randall McDaniel all played for the Vikings. I know Warren Moon. Who never won NFL MVP? Marshall Falk won MVP. Jim Brown must have won MVP. C? I don't know you. I'm going to say the guy with the Stormtrooper helmet. I'm going to say A. <laughs> Just because he looks silly. Oh, that is, that's Cam Newton. He won MVP. But I, I said A anyway. Which image shows a mascot who has performed for home games in New Orleans? Well, that's got to be... A's got to be the Buccaneers. The rest all look so bad. They all look so, so bad. Saints. New Orleans Saints? I love F, man. He's just chilling. I don't know. C? Nope. Who won the first Super Bowl in this group? I'm going to say it's the Giants. Nope. Not correct. A player whose surname is not Johnson. Okay. D is Brad Johnson. E is Calvin Johnson. A is Chad Johnson, now known as Chad Ochocinco. I think it might be F. I think you might be Brian Westbrook. Hey, there's Brian Dawkins. I, 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 I knew there was something in there. By the way, thank you. Thank you, Daniel, for the raid. You raided it during the, uh, during the NFL quiz. I thought I had 60% on that one. That's not too bad. And we got one last one, Increasing Options NBA. Increasing Options is a great quiz. Which of these teams was once located in Buffalo? Clippers. That's just a lucky guess. Who coached the Cavaliers and the Hawks? Um, this guy also host, uh, he coached the, the Raptors for a bit. So I'm going to say B because this does not say the Raptors. Okay, I'm stupid. Which image shows a former player whose son has also played in the NBA? That's Hakeem Olajuwon and Dikembe Mutombo. Olajuwon's son played in the... No, okay. Oh, it's Manute Bowl from Celebrity Boxing. Which image shows a basketball franchise logo that did not belong to an NBA team? That would be C, the Houston Galaxies. Which of these shows a player who won MVP? Jake Paul, Elvis Presley. I'm gonna, I know them from their non-basketball work, so I'm going to say A. Nope. All right. Which of these shows a shot chart corresponding to DeMar DeRozan? Okay. I mean, does he shoot? Yeah, he shoots. I'm going to say he's C. <laughs> he's a shooter. Which image shows a 2000s match that was won by an Eastern Conference team? Okay, the Lakers beat the Magic in the in the 2008 NBA Finals. Cavaliers, I don't know if they beat the Spurs. Nets did not beat the Spurs, that's for damn sure. Pistons, did they beat the Lakers when they won? Cavaliers might not have won until the 2010s. I'm going to say A. Pistons did beat the Lakers? That's crazy. Which image shows a player jersey combination that never happened? It's got to be Iverson on Memphis. Wrong. Wrong. Which image shows the country that Rudy Gobert was born in? That would be France. Thanks, Rudy Gobert, by the way, for starting the, uh, the pandemic. Remember when he touched all those microphones? 
Defensive Player of the Year. There's some things even the Defensive Player of the Year can't stop. Which of these 1980s jersey combinations was worn by the Sacramento Kings? I feel like it's, like it's maybe B. Or, well, D looks more 80s. I don't know. Sorry, I was clicking on chat for a second. I'm going to say D. Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> Who has the most three-pointers? You got Chauncey Billups, Steve Nash, Steve Kerr, Grant Hill, and Vince Carter. Nash was not a three-point shooter. He's an assist guy. Steve Kerr was a three-point shooter. Billups, I don't think he's a three-point guy. That was more of the big man dominated NBA. Vince Carter was a dunk machine. So I mean, is is it's Hill or is Steve Kerr? I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say is Grant Hill. Son of a bitch. Vince started shooting threes later in his career. God damn it. That's not Grant Hill. That's Del Curry. I don't even know who that is. Sounds like something a computer would order for lunch. Which of these five franchises was the first to win an NBA championship? The Portland Trailblazers. No? Nope. Okay. Who was a number one overall draft pick? That's great. C is Grand Hill, right? Okay. You've got Chris Paul, Michael Jordan, Grand Hill, Glasses, Dirk Nowitzki, and Jimmy Butler. Didn't Michael Jordan like famously go number two? Let's say, let's say Chris Paul went number one. That's wrong. It is incorrect. He went number three. Holy cow. Who they sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. Well, I guess if you took Olajuwon first, that's still pretty good. You'd consider that a hit. Which image shows the retired jersey belonging to Wes Unselt? He played for the Bullets. I was just literally a guess. Which image shows the Iceman? Nobody playing for the Milwaukee Bucks would be called the Iceman until um, Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Iceman. Iceman. Let me, let me go B. Hey, George Gervin, the Iceman. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe I got that right. This is, I know that it's the guy famous for the dunks. That's the, what's his name? Gary Payton? No, okay, that's, that's Gary Payton. That is not who I'm thinking of. Who am I thinking of? The guy famous for the dunks on Seattle? Sean Kemp! I'm going to tell you, I only got 47 on this because I watched the Netflix untold story of End One Basketball last night. How was it? Yeah, it's, I'd say it's worth the 65 minutes that it is. Okay. Quizzes. Cur How about curator picks? 100 video games by Monster. <laughs> Can you name all 100 of these video games based on the Monster? Maybe. I'll tell you, I can start with this one. This is Monster Hunter. That's Call of Duty. This looks so much like a super massive game. This is Until Dawn. This is a super massive game, dude. It, this, is the, this is how they model their characters. Man of Medan. I don't know. I don't know it, but that's... It looks so much... Well, what's the one we just played? The quarry? It's not the... It, that's the quarry? I guess he was morbing. That's dead by daylight. I don't recognize him. That's dead rising. I'm going 100%. Get ready. Silent Hill. The evil within. All right. I'm, that's the only one we miss. We're going 99. That's Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> that's Wolfenstein 
That's Call of Duty Zombies. That's um, Sniper... <laughs> Zombie Nazi Army? Is that what it's called? What the hell is this called, man? That's Outlast. That's Hades. Great game. That's Star Wars Fallen Outcast. Jedi Out Fallen Order. <laughs> That's Clay Fighters. Luigi's Mansion. How did you know Clay Fighter? Because I'm old, dude. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. This is Alien. This is Contra. This is Metroid. Super Metroid. I don't know this one. That's Beyond Good and Evil. Really? Really? That looks like Beyond Good and Evil to me. This is The Simpsons Hit and Run. Dead Island. Catherine. Gears of War. Halo. Mass Effect. I don't know what this is. Dark Souls? Ninja Gaiden? Tenchu? Demon Souls? Okay, I know he looked like he was wearing the Dark Souls the Dark Souls gear. This would be Predator. That's the Predator. This is Predator. This is Torok the Dinosaur Hunter. This is Predator. Is Predator? I pass. Moral wins. <laughs> I pass. Skyrim. Bad chess in the chat, please. Valkyrie Chronicles. Dragoon Legacy. What's this? <laughs> That's Prince of Persia 2. Okay, I would never get it. That's Abe's Odyssey. That's Oddworld. Abe's Odyssey. That's Slenderman. Half-Life. Doom. Doom? I don't know it. The Wolf Among Us? Hey! Okay. Yo! Let's go! That's Mom's Heart. Do you oh, yeah. The, the, the Binding of Isaac. It happened. Sea of Thieves. I can tell from the lighting. I've seen this. Is that a Deathclaw from Fallout 4? I've seen this guy before. What is this guy from? I've seen this guy. That's from Assassin's Creed? Okay, I've never seen this guy. Never mind. That's Dark Souls. This is... Condemned Criminal Origins. Don't Starve. Oh! <laughs> what the hell is this? Silent Hill. This is the scariest one of all. That's um, Amnesia. Bioshock. I can pass 50%. Oh, don't look! Five Nights at Freddy's. Mass Effect 3. The Evil Within. Halo! That's Halo Combat Evolved. That's Dark Souls? <laughs> I was like, it looks too shitty to be Dark Souls. Then it was Dark Souls 2. So technically right. Breath of the Wild. Rayman. 
This looks very Bioware to me. This has got to be Mass Effect 3. It's got to be Dragon Age. I don't know. I don't know this one. That's Destiny. Pretty close. That's got to be um, the Jack Black game. Brutal Legend. No? All right. That's not Brutal Legend? That's, get That's just a bad guy from Guitar Hero? This is, this is Dead Space. That's Dead Space. That's Mario, dude. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> That's Gungeon. That's Enter the Gungeon. Sorry, Enter the Gungeon. That's Limbo. That's Half-Life 2. That's Shadow of the Colossus. Silent Hill. Is a Resident Evil. This is Clock Tower. I don't know this one. Super Auto Pets. It, it looks like a Resident Evil to me because the camera's all fucked up. This looks like a... a I was just going to... I didn't know this was here. This I was going to say. This looks like a Platinum Games boss. This would be Bayonetta. Oh, dude, now that we know there's a publisher, Arcane Studios, this is Dishonored too. No, this is the one everyone always keeps trying to get me to play. Pray. I can do this. With that context clue, I can do this. This is World of Warcraft. It's too easy. Konami 1997. I know that guy. That's a Castlevania. Four. Super Castlevania 4. Symphony of the Night. You're going to make me type it? Okay. HAL Labs 1994. Okay, this one I could not tell you. That doesn't look like Kirby to me. This looks like Alien Isolation. Just my guess. I don't know this one. Cyanide Studios 2018. I don't know this one. That's Pac-Man. Crystal Dynamics. Um, I'm going to say it's Tomb Raider. <laughs> That's... You, you know, the one is famous. It's famous. That's Silent Hill 2. The Last of Us. Sorry, Dan Raiders. That's Terraria. It's Tekken? <laughs> Wide load from 2005. That stubs the zombie? <laughs> Bioware 2012, that's Mass Effect 2, 3, that's Mass Effect 3. From Software 2015, that would be Bloodborne. Square Enix 1997. That's, that's uh, Genova from Final Fantasy 7. You're going to make me type it? Fantasy 7. That's a Pokemon game. Square Enix 2021. That's Guardians of the Galaxy. You think I wouldn't recognize Giratina from the pizza, by the way? Rocksteady Studios. Batman. Arkham. Asylum. Ah! Just kidding. I'm not scared. Minecraft? This is Until Dawn. This is uh, Shadow of Mordor. This is Gears of War. I'm getting 70. This is, un, um, this is Undertale. The Walking Dead. Little... Nightmares. I told you, dude, I'm a gamer. Irrational Games, 1999. System Shock 2. South Park, The Stick of Destiny. Psychonauts. I'm an official gamer. The developer footer is definitely saving me. Mob Games, 2021. Four nights at Freddy's. 
<laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my god, Diablo? No wonder my mom didn't want me playing this shit. That's what the butcher's room looked like? When I was a kid, I was like, this is... It's just a video game, but looking at a still screenshot out of context, I can understand why she would be a little bit upset. I don't know what this is. This is Resident Evil 1. This is Ghosts and Goblins. This is Death Stranding. The worst part of the game. Best part of the game is when you're just chilling. This is Super Metroid. This looks like an Uncharted. This is Uncharted 4. <laughs> it doesn't look like an Uncharted now that I think about it. Is this Just Cause? What is this? What is this guy? Why does he, he's just a guy. He literally just looks like a dude. This is Doom. Tango Gameworks? I don't know who the hell Tango Gameworks is, man. Unknown Worlds. I feel like I played this. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I played this. This is Grim Fandango. That shit's cool as hell, man. I don't know what it is, but that's cool as hell. This is God of War. He's not a monster. He's just a snake. This is um, the other one, the better one. They're both great. This is the better one. This is Inside. This is what Naughty Dog made before they only made The Last of Us. I don't remember. Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> this is Rampage. Great movie. This is Hollow Knight is here. It arrived. Tecmo, 2003. This is Fatal Frame. Try me. What the hell? Valve, 2009. Left 4 Dead. Lionhead. Fable? Dude, with the studio is so much more. Okay, okay. Call of Duty Black Ops. Two, three, four, five. Treyarch, 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 Treyarch. Call of Duty Zombies Black Ops. <laughs> Call of Duty's uh, whatever. Who cares? Phobia Game Studio. No, un unknown. Spicy Horse. That's, um, I don't know it. It's a Kickstarter developer. BioWare 2014. Dragon Age Inquisition. I played that whole game. I don't remember this guy. Netherrealm. Okay, so this is Mortal Kombat something. Vigil Games. Could not tell you. Ubisoft. We know it. We stole that one. Id Software 1996 is Doom 2. It's Quake. It's Quake. Okay, that's Quake. Ubisoft 2020. Right, this is Assassin's Creed. I stole this one. 4A Games. They made the Anarchy Reigns game with all the Platinum Games characters. Could this be something like um, that Sega game that was called like Gun? Um, not Gun. It's a one word title. It's like Explosion. What's it called? <laughs> oh, you're right. It's, Met it's Metro. That's just Metro. Monolith 2005. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Capcom 2015. Resident Evil 7, 6. Zero remake. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's Devil May Cry 5. Arcane 2017. Dishonored? Must have been Dishonored too. Grasshopper. Isn't that a Suda? That's a Suda game. And the modeling looks an awful lot like Deadly Premonition. Wait, that's Swery. Grasshopper Suda or Swery? I, this is not Brutal Legend. We, we, that's what I tried. Apparently, it's Lollipop Chainsaw. Okay, it's Lollipop Chainsaw. Fair enough. Silicon Knights, that's Eternal Darkness. Sanity's Requiem. I don't know. That, and that's where we stopped. We got 81 versus an average score of 55. I could take that. 
He's clapping. He's clapping. We should see what we miss. Earthbound. I did see someone in chat type, he got like X game, but he didn't get Earthbound. It's fair enough. Call of Cthulhu. Of, I should have tied it. SCP Containment Breach. This is what I get for playing like Isaac for 10 years instead of like jumping on the YouTube horror trends like Poppy's Playtime. Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl, famously developed by GSC Game World 2007. The Evil Within 2. That's kind of bullshit though. So it's Subnautica, but this is not a screenshot from Subnautica. This is a promo image. How am I supposed to... Like, this looks like it's, it's from Little Nightmares or Limbo. All the other, like, the ones in first-person shooters are like they have a little gun in the corner. This one is a promo image. That's not fair. Fallout. What, when did Fallout lose its edge, man? Because this is cool as hell. Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. He fights Gollum in that movie? In that TV show? I mean, in that game? Treyarch, Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold, Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold War. Sorry, I wrote Call of Duty Zombies, Cold War, Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops, Cold War, my bad. Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Cold War, colon, the, the Golden Circle, colon, uh, Returns, colon, The Lost World. Okay, I have played Carrion, so that one hurts a little. Alice Madness Returns, confirmed Kickstarter game. Darksiders! I completely forgot that this game existed. Bro, Prince of Persia, we stole the answer. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Fear! First Encounter Assault Recon. And Metro. The only thing I, I knew Fear, because one time I went to my friend's cottage, and he, was, he played Fear, and I watched it for like two hours. And all I remember is he's walking around and he's getting attacked by invisible stuff over it. Like you'll just be walking around and then you'll get attacked by ghosts that then appear out of the sky. That's all I remember. And I was like, cool. That was fear three. That makes sense. Devil May Cry five with the starring nutsack head. Lollipop chainsaw. And Earthbound. We're back. Then you threw a moldy orange at his head. It's a different friend, okay? It's not the same friend. However, this is the same friend as the guy I've talked about being a very scary driver to be a passenger in the car for. And the same guy that Malf talks about who when, all, when everyone that lived in their house was gone for Christmas, they got like... $500 in internet overages. And then he tried, he was the only person that was at the house and he tried to get everybody to split it because he was downloading like 1990s television shows in 4K. That is the same guy. Video games by pause screen is fun. Video games by pause screen. Can you name these video games by their pause screen? The video game music I always fail at. And then Apollo laughs at me because I just say it's Mega Man for everything. So I got to go full screen on you. There we go. I immediately don't know the first one. And there's no context. This is Prince of Persia. I typed Prince and it was right. Can I go back to it? I want to see it. That's amazing. This is Tony Hawk Underground. Three. This is Gundam. <laughs> okay. This is Strider. 2015 or something. This is Crash Bandicoot. He's insane. 
This is Angry Birds. This is a lot easier than I thought. This is Ticket to Ride. <laughs> this is Bioshock. That's Bioshock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell because it looks like an old building. Star Wars. This is uh, Fallen Jedi. This is Star Wars Fallen Jedi. This is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The Force Unleashed. This is Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Star Wars Jedi Outcast 2. This is Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. What the hell? This is Call of Duty 4. Four. Modern Warfare. Two. This is Medal of Honor. Reach the safe house. Regroup, regroup with your squad at the safe house. Adrenaline. Kill streak. This is Call of Duty World at War. It has kill streaks. This is Call of Duty Black Ops. Two. Three. God, this shit pisses me off. <laughs> This is Grand Theft Auto. Thank you. This is all Mario 64. Super Mario 64, even though it's a level I've never seen before. This is Diablo 3. This is Crazy Taxi. No, this is Driver. I reckon, I, dude, I played a bunch of Driver as a kid. Okay, that, I'm going to guess that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's Inspector Gadget for some reason. He's just chilling, I guess. I don't know. I actually don't. I don't know. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I typed in every other Star Wars game that's ever existed. Shit pisses me off, man. It pisses me off. There is, by the way, video game by pause screen for every letter of the alphabet. You get extra rep, though, because you got Strider, but not any of the shooters. Oh, what can I say? You know, I was doing variety back in the day. I played Strider for like an hour. And then, I'm okay, hold on. And we are like halfway through the stream already. That's crazy. Sporkle is insanely goaded. Was Quiz Lab popular today? But like quizzes that haven't been featured but are... It's always the same thing. I don't want to do every bowler to take a five-wicket haul in the England and South America test matches. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then I'll figure out what we're going to play.